All right, guys, today we'll be doing the power steering flush and filter replacement in this W124-300E. Uh, and also, I'm going to replace the two power steering return hoses because they're pretty bad. One of them is already replaced. I'll replace the other one. Uh, and I also have to change the filter inside of the pump. Now, while I have time changing the power, st power steering return hoses, there's one of them. There's going to be another one I'll have to replace. And I'm... Um, having him letting this thing drain to the bucket okay because i'm gonna be doing the fluid flush anyways so i'll be jacking it up now front, front wheels there are different ways of you know getting a power steering flush done so that hose right there is disconnected on this side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add more fluid now. Or what you can do is, as you can see, I have it jacked up on both sides, both wheels. I'm going to turn the steering wheel. Like I said, there's many different ways of how to do the parsing flush, but this time I'm going to do it right like this. Two wheels are off the ground, so I'm going to be turning it with the engine off one way and the other, and this fluid is going to start coming out of there. And then I'm going to just constantly keep topping it up. It's empty now, as you can see. So I just keep turning it. All the way this way. As you can see, it's turned. All right, and there's more fluid that's coming out from that return hose. So I'm gonna top it off right now. And actually now I'm gonna change this filter. So here's the filter, brand new filter. I'm gonna change that. I use the Allen key, pull that thing out. Actually, before doing that, I'm gonna actually have to remove this nut. It's a little different W124, so I'm gonna have to remove this nut, it's 10 millimeter, and take this guy out. Okay, so let's do that. Try to be as clean as possible here, obviously. And I can see this filter. Well, it may have, it probably was replaced at some point. I can't tell. It seems like it's the same brand that I'm about to install. Okay. Like this. I'm going to clean all these parts too. Spring. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take this filter out. Ooh. All right, looks like they used the regular power steering fluid on it as well. And it is what it is, it's not a huge, huge deal, but I'm probably gonna put an automatic trans fluid in there. Now we're going to go ahead and turn the wheel a little bit more. Let's see what happens. More fluid is coming out. Once again, turn the wheel, drain the fluid, and top it off again. And just do it kind of multiple times until the fluid is completely clear and clean. Oops. <laughs> Alright, now what I want to do is I want to put silicone paste on all these door seals. Alright, I already put 
on those three doors as you can see this is what i did uh, this will protect the seals because they're in an amazing shape protect the seals and uh actually in the winter time it's not gonna be uh, hard to take them off or like open the door i mean because a lot of times they just stick to the body of the car and this will really silicone paste is gonna protect this car or the seals it's gonna be amazing so yeah you just grab the silicone paste and you literally just smear it around yeah make sure that this thing is dry there's some water here so i'm gonna wipe it down but yeah that's so easy to do all right so i got the valve cover loosened up i'm gonna go ahead and take it off carefully guys this is insane the engine is actually super damn clean look at it that's so crazy look how clean this thing is wow Everything is awesome here. The chain is good. No slop in the chain. That's crazy. So I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to focus on this valve cover. This valve cover is trash. It's so nasty and ugly looking. Got to fix that up. But oh my goodness. It's interesting. It still has the original label right here. Well, I'm not I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this I'm gonna clean it obviously but not like crazy crazy main thing is I want to make it look nice on the outside and I'll try to clean this as much as I can well I cleaned up the inside kind of all that loose stuff I honestly don't know if this is the oil sludge or this is from the paint or somebody else painted this before like super strange uh, the valve cover gasket that I had before was original OEM, but it was actually still pliable and not hard or anything. So, pretty sure somebody replaced it before. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep on cleaning it a little more here. And then I, I'm just gonna take care of this exterior surface. I wanna make it nice. course it's a good idea to use a stripper to strip all the paint but I'm trying to just I don't have the stripper right now I'm just trying to sand it all down and wire wheel it with the wire brush so here's what it looks like I'm ready to paint this sanded it I mean obviously I could have done, gone like even further, but I just wanted to make sure that the like all the rest of this old paint is just smooth and there's you don't really feel anything in between. Uh, yeah, but I just want to get it done, you know. But uh, it's gonna look so much, so much better after I paint it. And I'm gonna use a an engine enamel um, paint, black gloss, and all that, and it's gonna look really, really nice at the end. So I can't wait. This coat is really light. So while the valve cover gasket is drying up, I have this covered. I have the new valve cover gasket as well for it, ready to go. And uh, yeah, slowly but surely, she's almost back to life. Um, it's a brand new coolant hose from the reservoir to the top of the radiator right here. So it's all back. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting on some pulleys to get here. I have. To I've ordered two pulleys for this car. All right, I'm ready to install the valve cover. Um, the mating surface has been cleaned up. And also, I put some 
uh, gasket maker right here and right there because of the timing cover right here so you want to put just a little bit not too much and yeah other than that the valve cover is ready um, almost ready to be reinstalled and got a new valve cover gasket as well all right this is the valve cover gasket right here all installed make sure all the everything is pushed in there okay yep and ready to install it now as you can see this is i cleaned it up um, i cleaned it up as much as i could and it wasn't scraping too much just mainly like loose stuff that was there i was i cleaned it up all right so it's sitting now and before you bolt it back up make sure that the gasket is all good not twisted or anything also i mean this looks a lot better now however however i did not do the best job with uh you know sanding it and prepping it so it's it does not look the best as far as the paint but looks so much so much better now i mean if you don't look at it too close and that's what matters the most and i also also cleaned up these bolts All right, guys, now I'm taking care of the trunk. I'm gonna pull these two trunk liners out, clean them, and I'm gonna put a lot of uh, fluid from right here inside of this area. Yeah, so this car's gonna come with full-size spare and jack, all amazing. This is how everything looks inside here. I already cleaned this side a little bit, and uh, now we're gonna work on this side clean this side a little bit too a bunch of junk we also gotta clean these aligners right here make them good oh, it's gonna be really nice Alright, ready to apply fluid film.